So what's up, what's up, what's up? We are back for another video. It's been a long time guys, so I'm sorry, you know. Summer project was really, 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 really tough and we had to focus and that's why you didn't see me for a few months. Now we're back with that beautiful and satisfying video about transform that old industrial door you know uh, for the cost and we're just basically gonna remove the bottom part of the frame which is really rusty and uh, we try to go walk around the the budget you know um, for clients so um, that's how we do you know I know things are hard right now but we try to keep up you know with our client so we try to be you know their friend with the project that's how we do that's what we've been doing you know so uh, basically for a project like that guys it doesn't really take time just one day you can finish every project for me it take two days because we have to focus on other project but uh, basically you can do it in one day so we gonna clean the area we move the rusty part and then um, basically it's almost done you know so make sure you take your your mark where exactly how high you want to go you know with your with your uh, cart so you don't want to cut the whole frame because it's hard to remove believe me because those frames it's basically they have a curved angle at the back which is you know um, get in the concrete so to get that behind the concrete it's not easy you know so that's why you have to really know how high you're gonna go and then plan your time better It's so satisfied to use those uh, chisel and I, I like the, uh, the the impact you know this one it's uh, it's a uh, the roll it's pretty nice pretty strong you know and if you don't have something like that it's gonna you know take your time guys to kind of cut everything and remove it by hand you know tools is very important using that grinder that grinder is not too strong it's why it did you know well I'm not here to talk about tools but you did the job you know but you can get something stronger and better but for me i don't really cut steel very often so i don't really need something stronger i get my uh, small um yrb and it did it it's pretty good so um i've been using it for years i like the fact that you can change the uh, the grabbing handle which is really nice move it up and down and equipment safety equipment is important guys a lot of dusk a lot of you know material you need to protect yourself from you know put a good mask gloves safety glass boots knee pad everything you can have just go ahead put those on because you don't want to get sick you know
that's fine and we go you know clean the door remove the old pants and give it a nice and fresh color it was a really dark black but now we're gonna put it brown make it more shiny all that is about saving money for our customer you know usually we recommend to go buy a new door and something like that like now we said you know what let's do the job do the work for them and then uh, keep the door pretty still it's really nice and firm there's nothing wrong with it and for those who are watching my video we usually like cleaning the area as we walk so we don't like working on the garbage and the dust so we like cleaning keep the area clean as we walk in it make it easy and safety as well because we don't we don't want to fall you know all right area is clean i removed the old rusty piece now i'm just taking the measurement to see uh where my new uh, frame gonna go as you can see guys um, um i have little, small pieces of frame gonna cut that and then just put it in there it's hard to find a, a good angle to cut it All right, finally cut, we just uh, put that there. But before you do anything, before you even think about um, weld it, you need to take the measure, make sure it's level, make sure it's flush with the existing frame. Other than that, you can be really in trouble closing that door or even for the airflow, the uh, temperature to keep it inside so it's gonna be hard for you guys to control that so make sure your door it your door frame it's flush with the existing one so the technique i use i put some nail i mean some um some screw just to hold it in place some people have like some magnetic you know uh, bar they just attach together so for me it's easy because i don't have those magnet magnetic glove and um, a bar i just put those one on and then uh, easy to attach and then weld it and then let's go ahead and send using a nice weld epoxy to kind of hold it together and as you can see at the bottom I put some concrete like a fast dry concrete at the base just to hold really strong the bottom of the uh, of the frame like it's used to be. so i start with a 40 grip and then uh, go up to 80 just to make it nice smooth finish and basically that's it guys you don't need to do much so like i said it take one day or max two if you have to put some um, concrete like i did do the same thing for the other part and you're gonna see the finished result so um if you if you want to do that by yourself guys just follow the basic uh, description i'm gonna put you you're gonna know exactly what tools to use and how to do it so it doesn't take much time it doesn't take much energy to do it so don't be afraid but a lot of dusk you just need to wear your gloves your mask and uh, most importantly your mask that's important here it is guys so basically you have to prime it before you paint it i'm sorry about the cut because of the camera battery was low we had to shut it down so now you have the finished product so i'm going to show you basically the um how it was before and how it is right now. See how it's look. You can't even see where the cut was. That's how the job is done. Nice, smooth, and uniform. Look at that. That uh, I'm gonna show you right now. It was the B4. Really dirty. 
was he was like come on it was done it was done basically but we save it with this and here it is after customers happy are we happy and i'm sure you guys are gonna be happy too so the door they call us for it's now transformed and if you remember the old one let's show you this where's the picture look at this one that was the door before and uh customer was thinking like it's done so there's nothing they can do about it and look at it now it's beautiful anyways guys thanks for watching it was a pleasure to be with you again for another video and i will catch you another time don't forget to subscribe